Hi everyone and happy Friday. Welcome to March's Comfort Book Club discussion. I'm Miranda and I'm joined by my mum Donna. Hello. And you join me every month I to do. talk about <laughs> our Comfort Book Club choice. So March's choice was The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra by Vasim Khan. Really enjoyed reading this this month and it was great to have many of you reading along with us as well. Thank you especially to Jason, Christina and Janice who are becoming stolids, yeah, are our they? Real <laughs> regulars yeah. of the Comfort Book Club. They all sent in a voice message about their thoughts and I'll be including that in our discussion. So thank you very much to all of you and I have my notes so I know when to include your messages. But we've also got a few treats, yes. as always, um, inspired by the book. Yes. Chai latte. Yes. Yes. Which, uh, Lovely sort of warming ginger, cinnamon. Um, there's um, cardamom and a little bit of um, black pepper in it. It's mm. very warming. Well, cheers. Mm. <laughs> I hope it's, it smells delicious. Mm. Mm. Those spices are so I good. I love that. I love That's that. It's really, really mm. good. Mm. delicious yeah yeah and then if you've read the book yes then you will know why <laughs> <laughs> our treat to go with our chai latte is a bit of Cadbury's milk chocolate elephant approved <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> uh, mm. it really had me craving I know. some chocolate when I was reading this book I ran out mm. with you <laughs> Mm-hmm. And we went to find some because mm. it was like, oh, we have to have them. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But we chose this book because we both love mysteries that aren't sort of too, too violent. Not at all, yeah. A bit more on the cosy side. Yeah. And it's always fun to discover... A new series. I, exactly. I love a lot of golden age crime. You read more modern mysteries I than I do. I do. Uh, generally. She's a bit of a scaredy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Too much but, noir yeah. always freaks you out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I also like to discover new series yeah. as well. And the Inspector uh, Chopra books really are the best of both worlds. They I are. Think. They um, are. And you discover a new place with them too, which I love with a a mystery series. Yes, Yes. oh, I know. And these are fabulous for that. And uh, Jason from New Zealand sent a great message all about that, actually, because Vaseem Khan writes with such a wonderful sense of place. He really brings Mumbai alive for the reader. And there's so much to enjoy about his descriptions of the city and of food especially I have to say (laughs) I really enjoyed those descriptions and Poppy's cooking just sounded amazing but let me play Jason's message for you because he had some really um, interesting thoughts on that aspect of the book. Hello this is Jason from New Zealand. Vaseem Khan's book was delightful I loved reading about the gentle and developing bond between Inspector Chopra and Ganesha the Elephant. The writing was so evocative of modern Mumbai. Reading the book, I got to hear what the city of Mumbai sounds like from the swarm of auto rickshaws honking and revving their engines, what it looks like with the elephants and the mahouts lumbering down the street, what it feels like with the ceiling fans ladling the humid air around the room because the monsoon rains are late, and what it smells and even tastes like with the air hazy with spice. And because Vaseem Khan presents Mumbai with all of its contradictions, bringing into focus the divide between rich and poor, Mumbai is a real character in the book, a city of dreams where ordinary citizens do their best to turn setback into opportunity. Imagine if the Comfort Book Club traveled to India. This book would be great to read while being in Mumbai, don't you think? Many thanks, Miranda and Donna, for this fabulous book recommendation. Oh, thank you, Jason. Thank yes. you so much, <laughs> Wouldn't Jason. Wouldn't that be fun if we had a comfort book club Absolutely. meeting in Mumbai? That would be quite extraordinary. It would. But I agree that um, 
Mumbai is like a character in its own yes. right in the book. I think this book is a real love letter to the city. Vasim Khan lived there, I think, for about 10 years. Okay. And I thought he did a brilliant job of describing the city as a whole. He the good bits it. and the bad yes. bits. It was wonderful. And All your senses are involved in the exactly. reading, just as Jason said. Yeah. And I thought he really put himself into the character of Chopra in that way. Yes. There's a passage in the book where Chopra is sort of looking out on Mumbai and he's thinking how much he loves his city and he loves it in the way that um, he would love a woman. You can't just love the good bits, you have to love the bad <laughs> bits too or something like yes, that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. The city is the same. Yeah. Uh, but I thought he did a really good job of that it, it in the book. It was brilliant. And I think with the character of Inspector Chopra, I mean, he's this lovely man. He yes. is so beautifully drawn by yeah. um Khan and I just thought it was an amazing picture it really yes, was I know he's a brilliant yeah. detective yes, I love the is. nods to some classic detectives like Sherlock Holmes yes, and him being Pipe. a big fan and getting the pipe even though he doesn't smoke yes. and his moustache reminded yes. me a little Poirot. bit of Poirot so yeah. I really enjoyed that yeah. because he's a character full of integrity and yeah. really lovable yeah. just of course as the baby elephant yes, yes. Um, but some another aspect I really enjoyed to the story is that not only is it a detective story it really is also a book about starting over and fresh yeah. beginnings and how that can sometimes be very difficult, especially if you don't maybe want new beginnings. No. You, you know, you're enjoying your life as it was and you don't want anything to change. No, but I'm... he really manages to embrace change. He in does. The end, he Inspector does. Chopra and make even a better life in the end definitely um, you, you out feel of it so you feel much. the ending is so positive yeah yeah and, and I I think you know from my own mm. life I was made redundant which I wasn't expecting to happen obviously and um it it was really scary there was so many I mean I'd worked for a long time I knew I'd really miss my colleagues I'd miss some of the the customers that I'd known for a long time. You know, it sort of followed me around. Um, yeah, because you worked in a bank. I did. I worked in a yeah. bank, and um, and you know, I just sort of thought, oh, this. What am I going to do with myself? But in fact, talk about being positive. We we were able to move. We were able to. Um, well, I was able to get involved more with what you yes, are doing yeah and that's really been a blossoming for me I find it so interesting I admire what you do so much and I see all the hard work that goes on <laughs> and um and I know that it's positive sometimes to have change you know these things happen in life and we have to embrace it yes that's so true and yes it's been lovely having you be <laughs> a bit more involved in what I do and um that's something that we're thinking a lot more about as well yeah. for the future but we're not, <laughs> we're not we're sure still yet thinking yeah. things through so not yeah. talking about anything yet but it is really fun it is even just to share interests and hobbies with each other yes, as well I mean, we've always done it but this is just a way where we're reading the same book that's lovely yes. the comfort book yes class. exactly yeah. but anyway christina from spain sent in a great message about the book and she also highlighted um, this aspect of it too about it really making you maybe reflect a bit on what change means and i'll just play her message now Good afternoon, Miranda and Donna and all the Comfort Book Club followers. Miranda, Donna, you did it again. A surprising novel, extremely hooking from the beginning, beautiful setting, wonderful characters. In particular, I adored Poppy from the very beginning. Extraordinary plot full of mystery, superb writing, and of course, a marvelous end. Just a little reflection on the story. One day, you get up in the morning thinking that you are done, 
and what is done is just a part of your life. A second part, maybe much more interesting, is just about to start. Thank you very much again. Oh, thank you, Christina. That, that was, was wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> and yes, it's so true. When one yeah. door closes, then another may open. And to try and have that attitude to life, I think is so important. And I really admire how Inspector Chopra really has that yes. attitude. He starts preparing for it. He does. Yes. He's a yes. very organised yes. person. Yeah. But yes, I, yeah. I love the ending too. And I really enjoyed some of the quirkier aspects to the plot. Yeah. Uh, I loved Poppy's character as well, but I also really enjoyed the antics of baby Ganesha, the baby <laughs> elephant. I just thought Who that wouldn't? was, I know, it was yes. adorable. Really adorable. And I just loved the interactions between Chopra and the elephant and Poppy and the elephant. One of my favourite scenes is when they watch TV together yeah. and each yes. reaching so, for the so I can banana chip. I loved it when she bathed him and she... There's a line about she looked at the rug and she'd already consigned that to basically being thrown out because of the mud all over it <laughs> from him getting nearly drowned. And, yeah. and I just loved it. And I, I thought it was so wonderful. You know, the two books that, as far as I know, aren't actually, I mean, they could be, but I don't, I looked them up and couldn't find them. Yeah, so, the books about elephants. Yes, yes so the Harriet buys. Fortune yeah. Blast and the one all about the diseases and diet of yeah. yes. elephants and everything. Yes. And I love that little in-joke there yeah. of you know that and yeah, you felt you had fun so yes. inventing these, these I did. books I and did. yes I I really loved that too and uh, the better uh, the baby elephant really adds such lightness to the plot makes yes. it funny and quirky yes. and poppy's little feud with the woman in the yes apartment building yes too. I know that's really good yes yeah and yeah so in the book Chopra has to solve two problems in the end. Yeah, One, the true. suspicious death of a young man. Yeah. But then the other problem is what on earth do you do with a baby <laughs> elephant <laughs> that's been left to you? And I really loved how that sort of puzzle uh, went in parallel with the more serious yes. one, but it lightened yes. the story so much yeah. and I, I thoroughly there enjoyed was a lot that. Of humor, wasn't there? I, I yeah. found myself laughing a little bit, smiling a lot, you know. Yes, it, definitely. it was very enjoyable. Like it was. That. I mean as Jason said, Vasim Khan uh, does write about the darker sides yeah. to Mumbai. Obviously this is a crime story too, so it's also about the darker side of humanity generally as well. Yeah. But he manages to touch on those darker aspects quite like lightly I think, I think so too. too and I he think brings so, so much humor yeah. and lightness to the story as well that made it quite a cozy read it did for me. it did um, and very life affirming that. too I yes felt. yes yeah, I think yeah. that's really true yeah and um I love the character of Poppy yeah. and the way the ups and downs of their marriage is It's a very good marriage, well. I think. But mm. it's, it's very realistically portrayed, I think, in some ways, too, because there are ups and downs. And yes. obviously disappointments in that she never had a child and, you know. But how yeah. they, they make that, you know, not a, a thing that really bogs them down. They carry on and have a great life. Anyway, I must say the mother-in-law, her mother living, she was a wonderful <laughs> oh, no. wagon of a woman. Yes. Her character, I thought it was very charming. <laughs> yes. Again, that added quite a lot of humour humor. to the plot. I loved that, that there was humour through people sort of clashing personalities sometimes, as yeah. well as some real slapstick comedy. Um, I'm thinking especially of the scene in the mall where oh, yes. uh, Chopra tries to get the elephant to go up the escalator and he's not having it. Yeah. And he sends him like flying backwards. That's right, that's right. And we know it's the, the dairy milk that tends to <laughs> yes. forward. Yes. Exactly. Uh, but thinking again of the, of the elephant yes. and what did you think about the ending of that? Do you think he is 
the reincarnation you of his uncle. I thought you were meant to think so. Mm. I, did you? Yes, that is what I thought. Yes, yes. Um, in the end, I thought Which that... Which I thought was charming, because he's a lovely uncle, and obviously, yeah. you know, this was a nice touch to yes, it, I thought. Yes, exactly. I, I really liked that. But let us know what you thought, yeah. if, if that was your takeaway from the ending as well, and why Ganesh is such a special elephant, if you think that's one of the reasons um, that he's so special. That was my sort of reading of it, but I'd be interested in what other people yeah. thought as well. Um, but we also had a lovely message from Jenneth, who also really loved the depiction of the marriage between oh. um, Chopra and his wife, Poppy. So let me play Jenneth's message now. Hi, Miranda and Donna and the Comfort Book Club. It's Jenneth here from South Africa. I absolutely loved the warm humanity of this crime story. The humor, very real issues and topics raised in a meaningful way. The affection between Ganesha and Poppy sharing banana chips, watching TV, and how this adorable baby elephant saved Inspector Chopra's life. What a satisfying comeuppance. The many scenes are so colourful in my mind and the compassion between this lovely married couple through their ups and downs during a very trying transitional time in their lives was such a pleasure. I laughed out loud several times and it brought me back to the sights and sounds of my travels in India with my sister 25 years ago. Thank you for this marvellous read. Oh, thank you, Jenneth. Thank that you, was, Jenneth. That's uh, lovely. Very nice to and hear. how nice that it brought back memories of a yes. trip to India for you. We've never been to no, India, but sadly reading not. this certainly makes you want to visit, Definitely. doesn't it? It does. Love to go it does. to Mumbai sometime. Mm. And yeah, it would be great, as Jason said too, to read this if you're planning a holiday there. Absolutely. And I think there's been several more, hasn't oh, there? Oh, yes, yes, there have. Yeah. So if you yeah. enjoy this story which we have which we have yes, yes. <laughs> then I would definitely recommend um, looking out for more in the series Basim Khan has also started another series which I can't remember exactly but I think it might follow a female detective or investigator so I'm really curious to try yes. one of those too I'm sure it would be really good but yeah there are more books in the series so I really recommend looking those up and I also recommend looking at Vaseem Khan's website which I'll link in the description box down below with all the other links too, because he has a lot of information about his books and the inspiration behind the books. There's a little interview with him that you can watch. And there are also some great photos bringing alive the world of Inspector Chopra as well. I had a lot of fun looking through them. So I would really recommend checking out that website as well. But this has been such a fun discussion it today. Really has. It really and has. And of course, next month's choice is The Enchanted April by Elizabeth von Arnhem. <laughs> Very appropriate for April. Yes. And this book will whisk us off to Italy. Yes. So we've had Mumbai. Next month it's Italy. Armchair travelling all the way, but we'll <laughs> yeah. enjoy it. We're happy to do that. Yeah. So yes, if you'd like to read along with us next month, then do pick up a copy of The Enchanted April. I can't wait. But thanks so much for watching our discussion today. Um, do let us know your thoughts about the book if you read along with us. And have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye -bye.